Boys, girls, listen, heard a shop getting updated. There's gonna be a new Nihility card in there and it's actually really, really good. So check this out. This is Solitary Healing. I know, weird name for a Nihility card, but it's gonna be a five star you can pick up from the Herda shop. Hopefully you've been still doing simulated universe. If you're a Nihility fan, this is going to be very, very good for all these DOT damage over time status inflicting characters. Now here's the ability, Chaos Elixir, remind yourselves, this is super imposition, level one, you can get this to five relatively easily if you've been doing Herta's simulated universe. Now we have increased break effect by 20% at level one, and then every time you use your ultimate, you increase dots dealt by the wearer by 24% for two turns, and then when the target is suffering from the wearer's diet, when it's defeated, you regenerate four energy. This is absolutely crazy for an ability card. You upgrade this thing. And if it works like all the other ones, we're looking at up to 40% break effect, 48% damage over time effect, and then eight energy generation as well. This is gonna be very, very, very good for so many Nihility characters. Now we did just get a fantastic five-star Nihility card with patience is all you need. It is very good, increases all of the damage you do, not just damage of your dots, although you could argue how useful that is for dot-focused characters anyhow. And then it also does give you that speed increase, which is very usable on someone like Kafka because, well, she does want to take extra turns for her talent passive. It also gives that bonus erode effect for free lightning damage as a lightning dot. But this new Nihility card is going to be so useful on characters like Kafka if you didn't get access to her own five star light cone or even someone like Sampo. This card is going to be absolutely insane. And there's going to be another thing behind it as well. Don't sleep on getting that eight energy back when an enemy is defeated because this can actually help you take extra turns too, depending on what sort of build that you have. For instance, if you're using this wind relic set on someone like Sampo, yes, you get eight energy back and that doesn't actually make you take extra actions, but if you have the four piece wind set on, well then all of a sudden, every time you use your ultimate, you're gonna be advanced forwarding 25%. But this new Nihility card giving a energy in combination with the wind set being able to action combat forward push you could allow you to do cool stuff on someone, even like Kafka who isn't a wind character, as you can facilitate gaining extra energy and using your ultimate, which will allow you to action combat value forward push. And if your wind set is really well rolled in the substats and it beats out what your lightning set does, you can get more value from her passive talent by action combat forward pushing around, restoring her own energy, defeating enemies, and getting even more value from this talent. So solitary healing is gonna be a very powerful pickup for you if you are a fan of Nihility characters, because yeah, increasing dot damage, giving break effect as well, and then giving energy back is so good. And you can see the stats here at forward at level 80, 529 attack is pretty decent for these damage over time focus builds. I'm looking forward to this Nihility. If you're a Sampo fan or a Kafka fan or any other damage over time character, maybe Luca could get in there and use this too. You let me know down below. And it's because of that, I'm pretty interested in this light cone. Being able to be that combination of stats is just so powerful and having access to it as a free to play player can allow you to do some pretty amazing Nihility damage over time stuff. Until then guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.